But one of the things I've learned through all this is what decisions am I making that are more wasteful. When I'm flying back and forth, first of all, I'm very aware of how much I'm spending money-wise. And going back and forth every year is putting a lot of fossil fuels and stuff they don't do. One of the other things is the sisters actually don't travel very far, some of them. And that's because, first of all, you can't gain spiritual development or develop spiritually as a community of women if you're always traveling. They're very much into being contemplative, so if you're always out and about, you can't do that. It's interesting though on those flights, so people will say, what are you doing? And, oh, I'm interviewing these women. And one guy said, well, they're really anti-progress. And I remember sitting there thinking, well, it depends on what you mean by progress. When I am there, that is the only time where I have hours in a day to just think and just sit with my thoughts and write them out and develop them. When I'm here in the States, I'm running from 7 o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock at night. Don't have time to eat lunch. Don't have time to stop. And that idea of just stopping, of being present, again, I think that's pretty progressive. So I don't have to go to the well to get my water. I don't have to spin the, the yarn, the, the thread to make my cloth. But why is it in the place where I am doing that, I'm able to have time to just be? And that, again, I was like, well, it depends on what your definition of progress is. Um, one of the women had a hysterectomy. She was out of commission for six weeks. And the other sisters picked up here, unless you have a really good health plan, you can't just recuperate for six weeks. And it wasn't just physical recovery, right? It was mental, it was all these other things. And I thought, so how progressive is a, is a community where a woman can have a hysterectomy and be allowed the time that she needs to come back? We might have progress, but again, at what cost? And is it sustainable? And so what does that progress mean then? And so they've really gotten me to have to reconsider what does it mean to progress and to have all these things.